This time of year when I'm targeting bass on topwaters like this, I like to find little pieces of brush, trees, grass, uh, that are coming out of those spawning areas and directly target them with that thing. It's almost like pitching a Texas rig, except you're working it through on top. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this Lucky Craft Gunfish. This is a, uh, a walking topwater bait, but it has a lip at the front, so it also spits. And Lucky Craft makes really good baits, but this is a black color, which is good for really early mornings in, uh, in any kind of water conditions, actually. But in clear water, like I've got here, it almost is like harder to see for the fish, which you think would not be the deal, but sometimes it is. You know, a lot of people use like clear plastic uh, top waters just because it's harder to see for the fish because they get so they can see a white top water so well it's like too much too much color so sometimes these uh these darker colors they can't really figure out what it what it is and they think it's a shad and then they eat it there's kind of two approaches i'm going to try here at first i'm going to try this flat there's actually a point here it's flat and it's got this brush on it isolated target oh there he is right there up shallow Oh, God, there he was. Got him. Wow, that fish attacked it hard. As soon as I started twitching the bait, working it side to side, he smoked it. And that's the thing, I don't know what speed these fish want it, but I just know in clear water I can work that bait faster and I can cover more water with it. That's always been my theory with that is, uh, you know, the fish can see it from a long ways away, so they're either gonna hit it or they're not. But that fish was on one of those little isolated bush areas. He was probably in it, but he came like five feet out of it because the water's clear to come get it, so. Always good to get a top water fish in the morning. Just looking at the electronics, it also looks like there's a lot of bait that's suspended or coming up to the top. It's another good thing for top water. Oh, got him. Oh, barely had to move it. I saw some little bait fish scatter as soon as I threw it up there. And then he was right there behind it. That's a tiny one. Woo! See you, buddy. He was ready. Oh, got him. Right by that tree. Ah. There we go. That one needs to eat a little bit more. He came up out of that tree and grabbed it. That's good, that's good. See you, dude. All right, I think that's three bass. We've had four or five bites on these little points on that top water. The sun is bright now. So we gotta go find, number one, some sunglasses. Because, dear goodness, it looks like I'm getting hit by laser beams right now. And then number two, we need to find some shade. And I think we're gonna be able to find some on these bluffs. So the top water bite doesn't last long. We need to get after it. We'll go see if we can catch a few more on the top water in the shade. So this is what you do if you wanna stay on a top water pattern. You got a bright sunny day. Overcast is my favorite for top water, but shade is always a key for bass and clear water. It's great for top water. And what I've done is I've run over to a uh, little creek arm that's kind of leading into a bluff bank. And I've got the sun in front of me here, but tons of trees and hills, and it's gonna hide that sun for about 30 yards off that bank here for a little bit. So it's gonna extend my top water time. I'm just gonna go right up here. We got deep water. 
I'm gonna chunk this top water a little bit more, leading out to the main lake. I'm also gonna rig up a follow-up bait, which is another technique to use when you're fishing top water. And you get those misses, or you just wanna follow it up behind a uh, top water if you see a if you see a boil or you just see a good area. Got a little jig head on the spinning rod. Got this flickety split on here and I'm going to put this Lunker City Sluggo worm on here. Just gonna rig that right in the middle. Keep that right on the side of the boat. If you can throw it out in the first, you know, five seconds after missing a bite, a lot of times you'll get that fish. Oh, got it. Oh, right in that bush. Ah, there he is. Oh, the shade to the rescue. So I was working the shade line, working the shade line, and it started to come up a little bit. Huge boulders out there. And uh, there just wasn't a whole lot of brush for some lay, uh, some willow trees that are in here. And there are tons of bluegill around them. That's usually a good spot. But um, as soon as I found a little piece of brush up there near the shoreline, boom, there we go. All right. Topwater fish. We'll see you later. So we're gonna sign it off right here. I hope these tips help you all catch some more topwater fish. It's one of the best ways to catch them. I think it's everybody's favorite way to catch fish. And post spawn, it's just awesome. Fish start to really hit that top water once it starts to warm up a little bit. So if you want to check out more tips, more tricks from Mystery Tackle Box, subscribe right here to the channel. You can check out some of the baits we we're using in the boxes and get to cracking on them. We'll see you guys on the next one.